Hi, how are you? I'm, if you don't know me, if you're new to my channel, I'm Chris and I am a post-career retirement Gen Xer, um, living in the Pacific Northwest and just making videos. That's it. Um, I had fully planned on doing, I'm also getting used to a new gimbal. So my apologies for, oh, for the shakiness. I really hate this. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, I am three months into having my YouTube channel. Last week, it was my 57th birthday and I was planning on trying to do a really cool birthday vlog. I'm not necessarily a vlogger, but I was going to try that out because I traveled to a beautiful, sunny environment, stayed with a, a great friend and was just going to try to do this whole thing. And I, and I just didn't because I decided to be in the moment first. Have you ever done that? Have you ever had, you know, best laid plans and intentions and all of that? And you just don't. So here I am back home thinking about this past year and the coming year for me um, from a, you know, trip around the sun perspective. And I'm realizing that I didn't want to do a lot of reflection over the last year or for the last year which I usually do around my birthday in part because I've been doing a lot of reflecting real time as time goes on. So I'll still do some of it, but mostly I want to look forward. And one of the things that I really am enjoying about this current life that I've created for myself is my YouTube channel. And I don't want my YouTube channel to be about my YouTube channel, but it is a part of my life. And it's something that, um, I'm really finding exciting and challenging and rewarding. And so it is very much a part of my life right now. And part of my, one of the challenges that I have created for myself is to do more relaxed, some relaxed videos, some less edited videos, some walk and talks like this. So that's what I'm doing today. Instead of challenging myself with a more highly produced vlog, I don't know what style I'm going to land on. I honestly, if history tells me anything about myself, it's that I'm not going to land on any one style. I'm going to try them all and it's going to be a little bit of everything. So if you like unexpectedness, this is the channel for you. And uh, I hope you'll like, and subscribe and come back and also participate in the community. I have over the last three months really built what is a, a unexpected um, outcome for me and my channel is this beautiful community of people who are incredibly supportive and um, is supportive in many ways. In part because, you know, they watch, they come by, uh, but also because they comment and they, um, they are also YouTube creators. And so they understand sort of the trials and tribulations and, and we're connecting over shared circumstances. Ooh, okay. I'm going to, I don't know if I can get this. Hold on. Oh, there's a little snake here. I want to show you, but he's scampering away. Well, anyway, um, I can show you last week's snake. Oh, I can put that B-roll here. That was interesting. Anyway, um, so where was I? So this community, and it's, and it's wonderful. And one of the things that I want to um, keep doing is, is growing that community, both in deeper connections with a few people that I really resonate with, but also growing it from a size perspective. Yes, I want to monetize. No, that's not the only reason I'm doing this. Sure is a bonus, but um, yeah, so that's why I'm here. And if, you're, if you've stuck around this far, you're probably also a YouTube creator because otherwise you probably don't care. That being said, if you are still here, thank you. <laughs> um, 
where do they want to go with this? This part I might have to edit. So getting back to the reflection piece, um, you know, I, I, I do do a lot of reflection on a daily and weekly basis, so I'm not going to spend too much time on that. But thinking about going forward, now that I'm 57, what do I want my next year to look like? What habits do I want to create? Where do I want to be this time next year so that I can figure out the steps I need to take to get there? And that's kind of what I'm focused on now. Um, I'm about to go to the grocery store and why that's important is because I do want to double down on eating in a way that fuels my body as opposed to creates an environment that is not necessarily healthy. Um, you know, I've got, I'm, I'm very healthy, but I've got some borderline cholesterol issues, some borderline, be careful of diabetes issues. So I also want to do some more moving my body, which is what I'm doing today. And those are a couple of habits that I want to really fold into my next trip around the sun. And I'm curious what, um, what kinds of things that other people do around their birthdays. Does it, does it feel like a good time to reflect for you? Or are you more of a, you know, New Year's reflection kind of a person? Um, is there another, um, another way that you like to go about that? Or maybe you don't really do that on a regular basis. I highly encourage you to do it if you can. Um, or if you are so inclined and I'm going to go over here cause there's some really pretty berries in this bush and it looks like a good backdrop. Um, but curious, how do you do that? How do you, how do you create an intentional life for yourself? Um, again, maybe you don't necessarily now, but is it something you're interested in? Um, it's, I, it's one of my favorite topics, you know, being intentional about this life that we're creating and, and I'm, and I feel like I'm rambling now. And one of the things that I enjoy the most is a practice that I call noticing my noticing practice. I'm looking around this beautiful little park that's close to our house, to our apartment, and I'm seeing all these blackberries. I'm going to be picking some of these blackberries in a minute. And oh my gosh. There's also an apple tree. Can you tell them in the Pacific Northwest? Blackberries and apple trees. This apple tree, you can't really see it, but I'm gonna to try to show you. It has some beautiful apples in it. I don't know if you can see that. Anyway, they're gorgeous, by the way. And you can tell that fall is coming. It's that time of year. I'm headed back into the part of the park where there's pack of coyotes who is known to live here and don't know necessarily if they're out and around today. Again, noticing is a good thing, especially when it's your safety that's involved. Oh, look at this beautiful bench. I'm going to sit down. Um, so that's my birthday check-in. That That is, you know, in lieu of the, whoops, sorry, in lieu of the highly curated log type which i also like kind of want to do um just a rambling walk and talk and if you've had a birthday recently i know a couple of the people that i uh that i follow here that have channels are people who have had birthdays in the last few weeks and um if i haven't said so already happy birthday <laughs> And I hope that you all are ready for the changes of the season, depending on where you live. Um, it's coming. I can feel it in the air. Okay, I'm about to break into a Phil Collins song. Um, I tend to experience my life with a soundtrack playing in my head, and anytime I say words that connect to lyrics of songs that it instantly starts playing in my head and I'm going to be hearing it for a while. Anyway, um, I hope that you are having a great end of summer, thinking about fall, 
anticipating for it. Maybe you're hanging on to summer, kicking and screaming. No, it's not time for summer to end. I hear you. I understand that. Um, I feel very fortunate in that by and large, I tend to experience the seasons and the changes in seasons as I'm always, no matter what season I'm in, I am always excited when the next one starts. I'm always ready for the next season. I'm always like, okay, I've done this one. I'm ready to move on. And that's how I'm feeling right now. We're going to have another week or two of summer here, I think. And then it's going to, it's already started cooling off, but it, it's, I, I think this is sort of the last bits of summer. Um, I also, this is the park that's attached to the community garden that I belong to. And I just got a plot in this community garden. I don't know, uh, a couple weeks, a few weeks before I left on this vacation and I've been able to harvest some things that the other owner left behind, but I also have planted some things that are starting to grow and I need to tend to my garden. Um, if you like gardening metaphors, I have a whole video on that. And now that I've given my soil a time to rest, AKA going on vacation, floating in a pool, relaxing, <clears throat> excuse me. Now that I've done that, I am ready to be back, to tend my garden, to pull some weeds, AKA letting go, to pull some weeds, to create space for the things that I have intentionally planted to grow more robustly and to thrive um, so that I can harvest them in the next few months. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to go to the grocery store, get some fuel for, for my body and for, for my husband and I to cook some delicious whole meals, whole food meals. Um, and I'm going to tend my garden today. And that's what I'm doing my first day back from vacation. I know it's silly, vacation from retirement. But it's a thing. It really is. It's a vacation from your day-to-day, -day, your normal day-to-day. -day. And I so appreciate you sticking around through this rambling. This was an absolute mess, but I promised myself that I would try really, really hard to do a one-take video. This isn't quite a one-take video, but it's really close. And I'm proud of myself. And if nobody watches it, but I get this done, that's good enough. It is. It's good enough. I appreciate me. I'm doing a good job. I actually, I really am. This is me talking to me right now. Do you have these conversations with yourself? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Um, so I'm going to finish this off by walking around a little bit more, catching some of the things that I noticed. This park is just absolutely beautiful. And I'm stunned that I live like a quarter of a mile from it. Wow. So hang in there with me. Let's go. Let's go see what we have in store for us in this park. I was just sitting on a bench and I'm getting up and walking this way to show you this incredibly beautiful pond. And, oh, there's a house there. I didn't even know there was a house there. Ish, I'm gonna be quiet. Did you see this beautiful pond? Oh my gosh. I think this is near where the coyotes have their den. Hi, birds. You can see why this is just one of my very favorite places to come and think and walk. All right, I'm going to come back later on today to tend to my garden. And for now, that's it. Thanks for hanging out with me.